<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. And I am Tanya Hoffman's, and this is my Fabulous TV Show. And I have a fabulous guest star today, Mr. Fox Buyer. Bayer? How do you say your last name? It's Buyer. It's Buyer. Buyer. Yes. Oh, I had it right the first time. Yes, so did. tell us a little bit about you, Fox. Well, you know, I do a lot of different things. Um, currently, I'm very excited about being an author for the first time. Um, I came out with a book, yeah, of um, motivational poetry called Letter Kindling, Igniting the, Fi Igniting the Fire Within. It's just a book of, of really, if you know me, it's about my life and what I've been through. But I think a lot of the experiences that you see in these one-page poems maybe a lot of people had. Um, so I'm using it to inspire the rest of the population. Nice. Where's your book? Let's see it. And there nice. we go, baby. Where's Where's your pretty picture? Where's your face? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know if you want to see this in the cover, but uh, <laughs> it's actually a picture of me um, uh, in a place called Shelter Island in New York uh, in, during a, a sunset years ago. And I thought it was just a great picture to use for the cover. Um, I love the water. Uh, I think it's very inspiring. And I've written a lot of my poetry on the beach. So why not? It's right. Exactly. I was just thinking the other day because I used to write a lot of poetry in school and won some contests. And I haven't written poetry since then. I'm like, whatever happened to that Tanya? I don't remember what happened to her. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd she go? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Make yeah. sure you put into the little message area the website that people could go and buy it or check it out more. Sure. Yeah. The the my I have a website, uh, foxkbuyer dot com. So if you go right there, you can get the book and look at the book right off of there, along with seeing whatever else I'm up to these days. Perfect. All right. We'll put it into the little message area so people can see and click on it. it makes sure. it easy. So I know, right, we're um, talking, well, we were supposed to have the fabulous Miss Erin Smith, but she had a vet emergency. Hopefully her puppy or kitty is okay. Um, I know how traumatic that can be. Uh, we're waiting for the fabulous Mr. Tony Wilkins, who owns Podium Magazine, which guess who's going to be on the front cover in December or January, something like that. Me, yay! <laughs> right. So, um I sent him my, you know, my full spread with my hair flowing in the, you know, That's a fan. great picture. <laughs> I'm right? jealous of the flow. I really am. Right. There's a, it's like, there it wow, is. There it is. look at that hair. I need to have a fan just like blowing all the time, you know, just have like a little one. Um, yeah. And a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you got stuff hidden under there. I'm like, yeah. It's the Princess Leia look. I know, right? It's like the Princess Leia look all hidden. Um uh, you know so tell us a little bit about you know the kind of inspirational you know poems that you're doing what are you what are you hoping to help people change in their life hoping, hoping to achieve uh, just to understand that success i think is a mindset and it begins with a plan it starts right up here i call it the checkup from the neck up um and really my message to, in all of the poems that are motivational is you know, the road success is not paved. That's an actual title to one of my first poems. Um, if, if you want to achieve success, I realize it's going to be tough, but you're strong enough to circumvent all of those difficulties. And I try to uh, make, it a, a, make short poems that rhyme so they're easy to memorize. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> for me, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> no more Carl Sandburg for me. I'll take, you know, Fox Buyer every day. <laughs> yeah, make it easy. Just trying to make it easy. I don't I don't know how good of a writer or poet I am, but these were originally going to be songs and I'm not a musician, so huh. they turned out to be poems and it was published. And so I'm I'm lucky that way. Nice. Well, you know, and I think that's the hardest pe thing for people to do is to take and transform themselves by yes. realizing that if you stay on the concrete path, you know where you'll end up. <laughs> I like that. It's probably a good name for a poem. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> you just know where you're going to end up instead of, you know, I just wrote down, it was like midnight last night, and I woke up, I was like, I've got an idea. It's, what would you do if you could? Just what would you do? And it's not on that concrete path, right? Right, but no. You have to get off of it. You've got to veer off and, 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 and try new things and, and realize this might not work out, but what am I going to learn from this experience? How is it going to be better in the future? 
Exactly. And I think that um, it's scary. You know, a lot of times when people, when they hire me to coach them, I've got a lady who's asking me to help her with her SEO and marketing and mm -hmm. like, I'm really good at all that. But she's like, but, but I, if I do that, I'm going to have to do this. And, and, you know, and it's very scary to put yourself out there. And I totally yeah, you've got get it. You've got to sacrifice initially to get what you want in the end. I found. Yeah. Well, it, and it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, it's like for me to get over my fears. So here's a picture of me in 2005. And this okay. proves that I used to be an introvert, by the way. OK, because people are like, no way. You've never been an introvert. And I'm like, Don't oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so this was at the Leander Chamber of Commerce, the holiday gala. OK, so this is how I dress for a gala. It says pretty much. Tanya does not want to be seen. Look this at that. This is me. Look at that. Right? Can this is what I look like. And uh, let's see, there's Alexander coming in. Maybe he'll like to come in and say hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Um, South Africa so, here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, so we'll just lock that down. And um, what we're going to do is look at, you know, who I got I kind of yellowed. But, you know, when you're looking at transforming yourself, right, it's about um, seeing what do you have to do that's blocking you? What is it that's keeping you from being fabulous, from, you know, changing who you are to become something amazing? So, you know, it's I got to change road. my coloring. It's it's a hard road. Tanya, by the way, how's my background in coloring and all of that? Huh? How is my background in coloring and all of that? How is my lighting? Oh, good. Decent? Okay. It's a, it's a little dark, but a little dark. <laughs> my turn yellow. Every time I show a picture, it takes, makes it very yellow. I'm not sure why, but, Got you me. know, and then oh. you try to adjust the lighting and it doesn't really work. But, <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, it's, you know, everyone wants to be perfect and there's no perfection. You know, there's, it's impossible to be perfect, um, to, um, you know, really take that moment and um, say, this is what I need to do. And this is what I'm going to get out of it because you never know, yeah, you know, you but it's be, also you exciting. Be, you want to be unique so that people can take from you and, and, and make them your own. I mean, this book is a, is a compilation of experiences from other people that I know. So I'm a reflection of them. I'm not exactly them. I'm not perfect. But um, but when you take experiences from people and make them your own, it gives life a richness. And I, I think it, you'd see it in the book. Um, it, it just it was it was a lot of fun to do, and I I agree with all of your points for sure. Right. I know. Um, oh, that's it. 5 p.m. is going to be up here. 5 p.m. Central Time is the call-in um, for the information at the top there. Um, so, yeah, when we are looking at, you know, trying to develop out uh, what we need to do, especially for speakers, you know, someone's like, I want to be a speaker, Tanya, right? They're like, well, what do I need to do? I'm like, well, it's all about getting people to know who you are. How can they come and book you for an opportunity if they never have heard of you before? So a lot of times people get really scared because now they've got to put themselves out there. But if they don't put themselves out there and they're not calling yeah. my show and the summits, then what's going to happen? Know. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> exactly. Dive in and swim. Dive in and swim. <laughs> It's so hard for people, though, you know, and I totally get why, you know, because as you saw, it was very difficult yeah, for me. Your experience, from what I know of you, that was that was your road. You were initially very nervous, very scared. And you, you, you know, you trudged through all that and look at you now. Exactly. Trudge, 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 trudge. Well, <laughs> and, you know, it's it's. People get so stuck on the perfection because I used to, I, you know, I grew up with a father who expected everything to be done just right, you know, and you have to have straight A's and it's like, okay, well, what did any of that do for me? You know? <laughs> right. What benefit did it have? We, we put a lot of emphasis on numbers and letters and not yeah. about, the, not about the journey, uh, enough about the journey and too much about the destination for sure. Yes. Exactly. 
Let's see if Mr. Tony can come back in. Yeah, you know, people always think that I was just this way. This is the way I've always been. And no one's that way. Tony Robbins, Zig Ziglar, the first time uh, that they've ever done anything. Yay! Yeah, Tony's right. in! Can, I, can, I can you hear me? Yes. Can I just tell you, I am going to have several stiff cocktails after this. You, <laughs> I, technology has never been my friend. You know that. I have tried I know. three different computers to try and get on, and I, I'm here. I was, I could hear everything. I could see everything, but you couldn't hear me, and so I wound up coming back to my my uh, my desktop, which is what I normally would use, and then the <laughs> monitor wasn't working, and it's a new monitor, and I'm oh. like, are you kidding me with this now? So I am so <laughs> sorry to everybody. I am, I, my apologies. Um, you know I do a live radio show, and there's nothing worse than having dead air. So believe me, I, <laughs> I am so sorry. That's okay. I know. I'm so proud of you for pushing through and being here. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of you. Y'all have no idea. Mr. I don't want to be in video ever just, is on my TV yeah. show. <laughs> this is why I have a radio show and I, I stick to radio. It's a lot easier and I don't, oh my God. Uh, and technically I'm, I'm still on vacation. Uh, Ox, uh, I, I don't mean to to ignore you. How are you? It's lovely to meet you. Good. Meet. How are you doing? I don't want to interrupt you. So you guys carry on. Jesus. Oh. Okay. I'm okay. Uh, it's so all now good. It's what all do you good. want? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Goodbye. We're done now. <laughs> Tony, it's one of those things. Someone was talking to me the other day and they were complaining because they do one thing. <laughs> I love this. And they're like, oh my gosh, I've got to do this one thing. I can't believe it. And I'm like, one thing? How many things does Tony and I do? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, and we still put You know what? <laughs> I had a conversation with uh, a gentleman uh, right before I was, I was supposed to call in. Who, who said, you know, I heard about you through Public Speakers Association. We, we're connected. I love what you're doing. And not only am I going to get your directory that comes out from speakers, but I am sending an email to six or seven other speakers that I work with uh, to talk to them about the incredible offer that, you, that you're making to speakers and that sort of thing. So I... You know, as, as I heard you say earlier, while I was while I was curled up in the corner crying because I couldn't get locked up, <laughs> I heard you say, you know, one of the things that that you and I are really good at is really um, giving to get. We are we are firm believers in. I am happy to help anyone who asks me for help, but I'm also going to give you a list of things that I need so that it's reciprocal. Because, as you know, when you have a powerful platform, people are always coming to you with their hands held out. Um, and what I've learned over the last few years is that just doesn't work for me anymore. I really want to work with people who, who understand what reciprocal means. And we can help one another get wherever we're trying to get to, whether it's connections or speaking opportunities or resources, whatever it is. You know, I want us to to help one another get where we're trying to get to. Oh, we just lost him. Man. Tony, what? we just lost you. We can hear Are him. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I can hear you, but there is no video. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Really? Because it, <laughs> it says the camera is on. The uh, camera is you on. You are not here. You can't see me there, Fox, right? I can see you. I can see you and hear you. Can you, you. see him? I cannot. I can't see Tony. I can just see you. See, oh can't my, see you, Tony. Oh my God! Something happened with your picture. <laughs> <sighs> Technology. <laughs> oh my God. And this is why I drink. This is why I drink. Just, you know, one of the reasons, well, right? Uh, we'll see if you can figure out how to come back, because you know. You'll, you'll be back on again eventually one time or another. And now you know at least kind of what to do.
good, good, okay, good, good experience you. anyway, yes. Exactly. So, well, hopefully he'll be back. So let's see, where are we? We were talking about, you know, kind of traveling the unbroken yes. roads or the broken roads or <laughs> going see, someplace scary. Yes. How, do you, how do you get there? <laughs> do you have any suggestions for people on taking those steps into the, the kind of the unknown? I, I think risks are always good. I think realizing initially that there, there are going to be bumps in the road, that the road success is not paved, knowing that initially um, is big. And it really has to do with the want to and work ethic. How much do you want to do this? How much do you enjoy it? And I think enjoying something, you, you know when you enjoy it, when you get up and you don't want to do it and you do it anyway. I mean, for example, um, heck. You know, I need to do a lot of – I have CP, cerebral palsy, and I have to do a lot of stretching in the morning. And do I like doing it? Not necessarily, but it gets me ready to take on take on the day. So yeah. I, I find a way to love it. Um, you, 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 you just dive in and swim. But I think having a plan yeah. and, and knowing it's going to be difficult initially is, is good. I know, you know, it's always interesting to see, you know, everyone's got challenges, you sure. know, even those who don't look like they have challenges, we all have something that goes on. Sure. And uh, I was talking to Drew Hunt, Hunthausen, Hunthausen. Do you, I don't know if you know Drew, he's a big speaker, he's known as the blind speaker, and he, at 11, 12 year old, he um, lost his vision and most of his hearing. Wow. And so he was on my show the other day and he was having technical issues like almost everybody does. Yeah. And and a lot of it was because he couldn't hear and a lot of the adjustments, right? So him and his dad were trying to figure things yeah. out. And so many people, they, they not squish, but they, they hinder those who try. And for me, if someone tries, oh, yes. it's like the best thing ever. Yes. There's a, a, a poem in, in my book called Step, and it's really um, for those who have been knocked down a thousand times. And my point in the whole poem is when you fall down, fall on your back, Tanya, because if you can look up, you can get up. Exactly. Exactly. Well, and two, when you look at all of the different ways that we we keep ourselves from moving forward, you know, um, the um, I, you know, I don't do it that way. That, those kind of words really hit you. Yay, you're back again. Back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I threw the computer out the window and then she said, go back again. Here you are. <laughs> Can you see me and hear me now? Yes, yes oh, we can. Good Lord. For the moment. For the moment, I know, right? <laughs> Jeez. Lord. Okay. I'm here. If, if you want to ask me any questions, otherwise I'll just sit here and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you tell people about your magazine and your show? Yes, I have a man. No, I have no control of that. No, maybe not. Have, I, he talks about his fabulous new book. No, no. We always go back and talk about no, it. No, no. I have uh, three magazines. I have a, a speaker magazine. I have a magazine for uh, food enthusiasts, and I have a, a small business magazine. I have a directory for speakers that I mentioned earlier. Uh, I'm most known for my radio show, uh, Small Business Forum Radio, which has almost 150,000 listeners uh, globally. We have uh, experts that call in from all over the world, and we educate the listeners. And it's a live show, so I actually understand what you're going through today with me. Um, <laughs> I have a, a booking service uh, for speakers that's been just unbelievably successful. Uh, I have a new book that comes out, The Career Whisperer, uh, behind the podium, which actually offers tips to speakers in terms of how to get more speaking opportunities uh, based on my experience as a booker and as a speaker. Uh, and so uh, that comes out uh, January 20, no, January 31st. And I want to thank you, Tanya, because you were the one who actually gave me the idea to push back the release date of the book because you said it's better to do it at the um, uh, beginning of the of the year as opposed to the end of the year. So that was a really, really terrific advice. 
Um, yeah, you know, things that I learned, I'm like, doing, why didn't I yeah. do it that way? Now I can tell people, so they don't do, oh, man. <laughs> Absolutely. So that was really, really excellent uh, advice, and, and I really appreciate that. I know I do some other stuff. I can't remember what. I've got books. Uh, I've got an internet TV show that's on hiatus because we're reformatting that. Uh, and I basically am, am just a master connector. I love connecting people to other people, and I always ask whenever I meet uh, new people, what do you need and how can I help? And those two questions have really helped me to build a business that's based on reciprocal relationships. You help me, I help you, we help one another. Let me see who I can connect you with, who can help you get to the next level. And I actually have a workshop that's based around that, that philosophy of reciprocal influential networking. Uh, so I don't really do a lot of networking anymore. I just connect people and they connect me and it, it all seems to work. Right, make sure you put into the little side your website link and everything will, so people can get it. I will absolutely do that while I'm still on the air. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so what else do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and I think that's, you know, we're, uh, Fox and I were talking about, you know, having to adjust for things that are thrown our ways, you know, like getting on Blab <laughs> and not having it go perfect, you know, example. so many people. Yeah, you know, so many people get so stuck on, oh my gosh, they'll they'll fret about something forever. And I, I used to be that way, you know, when someone say something negative. Oh, I would just stew over it forever, you know, and finally you kind of get past that moment and just like the crazy guy that came in while ago and I don't know what he was doing, you know, it's like, well, I guess I shouldn't have let him in. I don't yeah, know who very he well, that's Johnny, I can say. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> exactly. You know, you're like, oh, it's okay. You know, you get... Um, there's too many times that people would sit there and they just won't let it go out of their heads because it doesn't matter. It has nothing that it doesn't do anything for you to stew on stuff that's not right or didn't work right or whatever. <laughs> it only hurts you. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, and you know, people have a tendency. You know, people are really, really angry lately. I've noticed, particularly online, they have a tendency of you know, saying really nasty things, um, and I tend to not, I used to, I was like you, I used to pay attention to it, and, you know, then I'd be in bed for three days, and that sort of thing, and I got to the point where I said, you know what, these people will probably never do business with me, you know, I only do business with nice people, and why am I worried about people who I will never meet, will never do business with me, and who don't even know me, you know? It's just not yeah. not worth it to me. I want to tell your your viewers and your listeners also that uh, I put my radio website up up there. So if anybody would like to tune in or would like to be a guest on the website or a guest on the radio show, please uh, contact me. I'm also right. sending a link uh, for the directory, which. People have been, I, I can't believe how well this directory is selling, and it's not even out till December 15th. But if you want to get more speaking gigs, uh, have more speaking opportunities, paid, non-paid, media opportunities, click on the link. If you register, uh, I think today is the last day, but I can extend it for a couple more days. Uh, if you register for the directory, we'll give you a year of free advertising in the monthly speaking magazine. So I'm going to extend that, let's say, until the until Friday of this week. Um, and I was telling everybody there's going to be someone really pretty on the cover soon. <laughs> yes, Anya is going to be on the cover of Podium Magazine. I believe it's going to be the December issue or the January issue. I've got to look and see whether or not I've done the layout. You know, things have been so, so nice. I'm very honored. But you will be on the on – the, and you've been featured in oh, the magazine, sorry. but this is the first time you get the cover. So I'm really excited about that. But, um, you know, I always love doing your show, even though technology and video is not really my thing. Uh, I don't what are you going to do at my conference? I mean, you're going to be actually live in front of people. <laughs> yes, which is where I, I really shine. I'm not really, I don't do a lot of webinars. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
What I'm going to be talking about is influential networking and how you can turn that into revenue. Uh, stop collecting business cards from people that you don't want to do business with, who don't want to do business with you. Stop getting disappointed, you know, and really right. create a, a circle of influential networkers that can help you get where you're trying to get to and you can help them. But there's there's a trick to it. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. Yes. Nice. What are you gonna, you gonna, I know, Fox, you probably do that too. It's, I do. it's fine people that you just naturally connect with and other people are like, okay, you can stay away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. yes. Use your friends wisely for sure. For sure. Tanya, what are you gonna you're gonna be at my empowerment conference conference in April. What are you gonna be talking about? Because I, I forgot to ask you that. Change the world from the front of the room. We could talk about business, um, speaking, the business of speaking. I could do, you know, turning strangers into VIP clients, whatever you want me to talk about. Okay. Uh, Make sure that um, you, do you have a connection to that uh, page yet? And we'd love to help you promote it. Which the empowerment put conference, mine up there. It's, it's not yeah. open for general, um, to the general public yet because we're waiting to get all the speakers oh, okay. to register. Uh, and so I'm going to open that oh, up okay. after December the 15th. Um, but the, oh, awesome. yeah. So, and we're going to have what 15 speakers this year, which I'm really excited about. Uh, all of them are going to target mark, uh, target business one on one. Um, and it's April what? Uh, April 28th and 29th. We've it, it's the response has been so unbelievable uh, that I actually opened up a second date for the conference. It's going to be a one day conference, and now it's going to be two. So I'm really excited. About nice. That. Yeah, because I've got um, I'm speaking at the Santa Barbara Business Expo immediately after. Mm -hmm. So I'll go from Santa San Francisco area because you're going to do it in San Francisco, right? Yeah, I'm in San Francisco, and it's going to be in Fort. Yeah. yeah. And then I'll head to Santa Barbara. Well, How far well, is that? Um, I'd say about seven hours, maybe, if you're driving. Ooh, okay, I'll fly. Yeah, and, <laughs> oh, and, 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 and I, bird. I probably said this to you, in, or wrote this to you in an email. Let me know uh, if you want me to introduce you to someone at the Payne Mansion, and they'll give you the Tony Wilkins discount to stay at the mansion if you need a place to stay. Always. Yeah, because they, they take Always. really good care of the people that I send over there. So just remind me. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so tell me, love it, love it, so love it. tell me, uh, tell me what you two need, both of you. I need to have more friends like Tony. How about you, Fox? <laughs> oh, I'm just hearing you talk in the last couple of minutes. I, I do need more friends like you, and uh, I'd like to connect with you more. Of course, I don't know if you need more friends like me. <laughs> I'm kind of a yeah. handful. It will keep you busy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't ask him to go on technology things, though. You, you'll yeah. hear me cussing a lot. He's a fighter, though. He found a way. I, He's a fighter. I like the fighter. Yeah. <laughs> I know. People always ask me, like, who is my favorite person I've ever heard speak before? And it was this lady that it was her very first time to speak, and she was on one of our virtual summits. So she was on. It was 25 minutes straight presentation over the phone, and she hyperventilated the entire time. Oh. She'd be like, da, 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 da. <laughs> and she's okay. Oh, oh. And she'd get a drink, and then she'd go again, and then she'd hyperventilate. It was awful. Oh, Tony, we lost you again. Are you kidding? Oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. And. Um, and but the next time she was on the summit, she did it, and she only hyperventilated like once. And then the next time she didn't do it anymore. That's what I love. I love to see progression. I that'll love be, to see that'll be me get, next month for sure. This is wonderful. Yay! So Tanya, can can you? Oh, Tony, we can't hear you now, too. Poor Tony. I know, I mean, baby. He's just having a dark time. Not, 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 not. <laughs> And I've got to start wrapping up because I've got to go do Q and A, and you know I've got another show to do later on. Oh yeah, we're doing training for the Public sleep? Speaker Association. Yeah. <laughs> no Never. sleep. Never. Who has time for sleep? Oh. Really not you. <laughs> I do I'm always need a little bit of sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> I know. You know, it's so much fun to do what we do, right? It's it is. when you get connect with people and you get to help them and you get to see kind of share some insight that would help them. And you I mean, know you're having an impact. It, it. It's uh, yeah, you don't need sleep. 
You know, when you know you're having an impact on somebody else's life, uh, there's no greater value to life than that, for sure. Oh, always. And I love going out and helping people. And and um, let's see if Tony can come back in. Um, you know, that's one of the things about, you know, speaking in general is just has such a power, powerful connection to people. And there's going to be those that are negative. There's going to be those that don't like you. You know, I mean, that just happens. Yay, he's back. <laughs> and um, this is kind of re reoccurring, Tony. Um, so we're like, oh, there it goes, bye, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, well, I wanted to wrap this show up now that we've got Tony back. <laughs> Is there anything that um, either of you would like to offer, if you've got something that you'd like to give away or anything for the show for our listeners? Ox, why don't you go first? Um, I've, I've started, for sure, I've started making uh, audio copies of my book. Um, you can email me at foxbuyer.com, F-O-X-B-E-Y-E-R.com, at, at gmail.com. I'm sorry, foxbuyer at gmail.com, and I'll, I'll send you a, a free audio copy of my book. How about that? Yeah, um, perfect. And uh, as I said, I'm going to offer uh, speakers out there, um, if you register for the magazine and the directory, it's just 169 uh, you will get uh, a year subscription. You'll get the directory. You also get one year of advertising, free advertising, in the monthly magazine. Uh, you need to send me your uh, advertisement by the tenth of the month. Uh, send me your one sheet. It'll appear in the directory, but you need to send that to me ASAP. Today was the last day. I'm going to extend that until the end, until Friday, uh, December the fourth. So if you send everything, if you register. Um, by December the 4th, I will honor that uh, year of free advertising. The link is, is up there. You can also email me at awil267487 at aol.com, and I will I will type that in. Uh, and tune into my, my radio show. It's Fridays at 3.30 p.m. Pacific, and it's a live broadcast. And remember, everyone, if obviously Tony said his email address way too fast. So go to public speakers with an S association, all spelled out, dot com. Under the speaker search, you can put Tony, and his ad will pop up with his pretty picture and his website and his email address and his phone number and everything is right there. All the social media links, Absolutely. same with Fox. So it makes it easy. Um, here is my website. It's tanyahoffman.com. That's Tanya with an O, Hoffman with one F, like Frank, two N's, like Nancy Nancy.com. Because my husband's last doesn't know how to spell Hoffman. Right? So, um, <laughs> so tanyahoffman.com, right? Forward slash win, W I N, forward slash. And that will get you to my contest. So I do one at the first of every month. So I'm choosing tomorrow. Um, for a new winner, it's a thousand dollar coaching session. It's an hour coaching with me, and I would love to help you. It could be about speaking, business in general. I've been in business since I was 25, so I'd love to give you some insight on how to help that. So make sure you go register and win that contest. We also have nominations open for collaborator of the year. Tony, I hope you, that you're putting yourself in. For oh, okay. <laughs> so get someone to nominate yourself or, you know, get someone to nominate you go to public speakers conference.com and it's there we also have video um contests going on where you could submit a video of a presentation so it's under five minutes and there's different topics so best business tip best personal development tip um you know best story so there's lots of different categories that you can enter into so make sure that you go and again it's at publicspeakersconference.com and i've got that over in the side too so thank you all for joining us today. Thank you, Tony, for persevering and, and being in. Um, and thank you, Fox, for jumping in <laughs> and filling in it. for us. <laughs> and, thank you. and you'll be able to see Fox tomorrow. <laughs> and, and thank you, Bill. Uh, Tanya, thank you so much for, for having me on. It's always interesting when I get a chance to, to come on your show <laughs> because you never know what's going to happen with me. Uh, but I, I appreciate everything. Always interesting. 
I appreciate everything. Yay! Well, I appreciate you too, Tony. Can I go and drink? Love to meet you, Fox. <laughs> yes, go have a drink, and it's on me. Today. Okay, Fox. <laughs> uh, be sure to email me. Let me know how I can help you. Okay, Fox. Thank you very much. I will. And good, good to meet you as good well. Good meeting Thank you. you, Tanya. We'll talk soon. And thanks for being on my Tanya Hoffman's TV show. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs>